I'd like to save this presentation and I'd like to save it as album. One way to save is to click the Save button on the Quick Access toolbar. Notice also the shortcut key combination is Control S. Another way to save is to go to File in the ribbon and click the Save button. I'd like to save this file to the desktop. So on the left hand side, I'm going to click Desktop. You may have to scroll and locate Desktop on your machine, but it will be there somewhere. So I'll click Desktop. I'd like to give the file the name Album instead of Presentation 2. So I'm going to delete the file name and type Album. A PowerPoint presentation is always saved as a PPTX file. So if you ever receive via email or any other media a PPTX file, it is a PowerPoint file. So I'll click Save and this will save my album. When I look at the very top of my screen in my title bar, I can see the name of the file as Album. If I wish to save this as Photo Album, then I can't click the Save button or Control S because what it does is just updates the file Album and doesn't let me save it as a different name. If you wish to save your file as a different name and or in a different location, you'll have to go to File and click Save As. You can press a shortcut key which is F12. The function key F12 is the shortcut key for Save As in all Microsoft programs. But I'll click Save As. At this point I'm given the opportunity to save the file as a different name and in a different location. I'll stick with the location desktop, but I do want to call it Album Photo Album. So effectively now I'm going to have two files. I'm going to have my original album file and now I'm saving a copy of it as Photo Album. So I have a file called Album and a file called Photo Album both sitting on my desktop. So I'll click Save. If I wish to close a file, there are a variety of ways to close. I could press the key combination Control w I could hit the X in the top right corner of my screen and close the window this way. I could click the Close button that I added to my Quick Access Toolbar earlier. Or I could click File and Close from the ribbon. So I'll choose Close. What I'd like to do now is open the file. If I go to my Quick Access Toolbar, I have an Open button, and the shortcut key is Control o Or I could click File in the ribbon and click Open. I can then go to my desktop and open the album, and open. And now my album file is open. I could open another file by going to File, and going to Recent. Recent is when I want to open a file that I recently created. And here's my album and photo album. So I'll click Photo Album. And now I have two files open. To switch between the two files, I could go to View in the ribbon and switch windows. And switch windows tells me I have two files open. I could click Album and switch to the album file, which appears in my title bar. Or I could go to View again, switch Windows, and switch to Photo Album. And now I'm seeing Photo Album. Sometimes you'll also see two buttons at the bottom of your screen to switch between the Album and the Photo Album. And there's also a variety of keys, such as Control Tab to switch between the files. And you can see my title bar at the very top of my screen is switching between Album and Photo Album. But what I'd like to do now is close these two files. So I'm going to press Control w or the Close button on my Quick Access Toolbar. If I click the Close button, Photo Album will close, and I'm left with Album. If I press Control w I'll close this window, which closes Album. Both files are now closed, but because I closed the file rather than the program, I'm still in the program PowerPoint.